At one point Liu Han was dubbed the Chinese Justin Bieber, due to his massive popularity and dedicated fandom in China. So how did one of China's biggest and brightest pop stars fizzle out? Liu Han became known as a popular member of the boy band XOM, a part of the SM Entertainment Talent Agency. Liu Han was scouted in 2008 and later became an official member after joining an audition in 2010. He was the lead dancer and vocalist in the group. In just a few short years he had won many hearts and had arguably become the most popular member of the boy band. Fans were so enamored with him that he holds the record for the most comments on a Weibo post, after he posted the words, that's why I love Manchester United, in 2012. On its last official update, on April 2016, the post had received a total of 100,899,012 comments. While everything seemed to be going great for him, he shocked fans in 2014 when he announced his departure from XO. Within minutes of Liu Han's announcement, SM Entertainment stocks plummeted to a new low, dropping by 9.41%. According to Sina, there are four main reasons why the popular star wanted out, including overexhaustion and alleged unfair treatment by the company. Liu Han had reportedly worked countless late nights and flew from country to country for back-to-back -back schedules with no rest in between, causing him chest pains and headaches. He also had his leave request rejected several times. He claimed there was discrimination against the Chinese members in the group, as XOK received more endorsements in Korea, and more screen time while performing. Liu Han had previously said, it is a working environment where it feels like we are robots in a factory. In the two years after leaving his group, Liu Han's fans stood by him wholeheartedly, supporting his decision and cheering him on as he embarked on his solo journey in China. It was a golden period for him, spanning from 2015 to 2017, where everything he touched seemed to turn to gold. People even coined the term Liu Han effect to capture his massive influence among fans to IN December 2015, he dropped his first digital album, Reloaded, and it was a sensation. Not only did it top Japan's Tower Records chart, but it also became the only mainland Chinese music release to feature in Taiwan's Top 5 G Music year-end chart. The album's success was unparalleled, breaking records as the fastest-selling digital album. In 2016, it achieved platinum sales, a groundbreaking feat for mainland China and making Liu Han the first Chinese singer to achieve double platinum album sales. But his achievements weren't confined to the music world alone. He ventured into acting, making his film debut in the Chinese romantic comedy 20 Once Again, a remake of a Korean hit. The film soared to the top of box office charts, becoming the highest-grossing Korean-Chinese co-produced film. In 2016, he starred in Time Raiders, a fantasy action-adventure film that dominated the box office, becoming the biggest summer hit of the year. Liu Han's influence stretched far beyond the entertainment industry. He made history on magazine covers, gracing the front of more than 20 publications, including El China, GQ Style, Forbes China, Harper's Bazaar, and Cosmopolitan. His popularity was such that even a random street sign he photographed became a landmark, attracting thousands of fans daily. Despite all these accomplishments, the tide seemed to turn when he publicly acknowledged his relationship with actress Guan Xiaotong. They actually met in early 2017, when they recorded Keep Running. Then they worked together on Sweet Combat, which leads us to Liu Han's announcement on October 8, 2017. The day is probably the darkest day in the life of Liu Han's Celis fans, most of whom have been worshipping him when he was still a member of XO. He took to Weibo to announce that he was in a relationship with Guan who is seven years younger than him. The simple post read, Hello everyone, I am introducing my girlfriend, and tagged Guan Xiaotong's account. Guan Xiaotong also responded to Liu Han's post with a heart. Predictably his legions of fans were heartbroken. Weibo went into overdrive so much so that it literally crashed and stopped working for almost two hours causing countless programmer brothers to work overtime. Once Weibo was back up, everyone had something to say about the matter. A lot of people felt this was a reckless move because it's usually a taboo for idols in Japan and South Korea to engage in a romantic relationship to the point of announcing it to the public. And although meeting a romantic partner may seem innocent enough to fans of a celebrity in other countries, it is often devastating to fans in China. Backlash The Chinese entertainment industry operates on fan support, where fans consider it a cultural duty to invest in their idols through merchandise, concert tickets, and online activities. This devotion often gives fans a sense of ownership over their idols' lives. 
He found many of his fans responding angrily to the news, with one fan slamming him for letting down his supporters. Another Weibo user commented, We have supported him all this time, we have made him who he is. He owes it to us to stay single. The news led to the closure of over 100 Luhan fan clubs and a significant loss of followers, estimated at more than 800,000. Weibo was flooded with pics of fans slitting wrists, jumping off buildings and other signs of depressive disorder. Four fans reportedly took their own lives. Guan was harassed and called all sorts of names for stealing their idol away from them. Lu Han's clean-cut image had made him the ideal Chinese ambassador for many top luxury brands, including Louis Vuitton and Cartier. The news of Lu's girlfriend threatened to impact brand sales, with many Weibo users claiming they would no longer support his product promotions. He can give that Cartier ring to his girlfriend now, I don't want it, one fan said. Some even threatened to boycott all the brands he was associated with. Many brands dropped him as ambassador so as not to incur the wrath of China's billion-dollar consumer market. To this end his announcement was seen as career suicide. Lu Han believed his fans would support him despite his immense popularity, but within days, he faced strong opposition. He stuck by his decision to make his relationship public, explaining it was important to him. Some fans, hoping for a breakup that never happened, were in denial. Despite being together for seven years, Lu Han and his girlfriend remained discreet. They rarely flaunted their relationship online, acknowledging it only on their birthdays. They avoided the spotlight, except when caught by paparazzi. Despite occasional rumors, their relationship remained mostly private and out of the public eye. On the music front, compared to his 16 singles and two albums between 2015 and 2017, he only released nine singles and one album in the six years that followed. His last movie didn't do well, and his last drama aired in 2020. Lu Han continued to participate in a few variety shows and celebrity events. Unlike his K-pop days, his income wasn't solely from music. This allowed him financial freedom, enabling him to invest more in music production and collaborate with artists of his choice. He no longer felt pressured to obsess over performance results. Despite a dip in popularity, he still earned significantly. In 2020, he ranked 15th on the Forbes list of highest earning Chinese celebrities. He has also been entangled in a few controversies. In 2020, he made his Muslim fans angry by wearing a sacred Muslim phrase as a fashion statement. This upset people because it was disrespectful to wear such a meaningful phrase casually. The situation became even more controversial because he wore it in China, where there were reports of Muslims being treated badly. Then there is the issue with his drinking. Gone was his sweet and innocent persona as he was spotted drunk more than once in 2022. In the first incident he was seen being escorted to his car by friends after he drank so much he couldn't walk on his own. On August 2, reports of Lu Han's public drunkenness became a hot topic again after he was captured walking drunk on the streets after a drinking party with friends. Again, Lu Han was drunk to the extent that he wasn't able to control himself, stumbling into his acquaintances. However, 2023 has definitely been a good year for him. Lu Han is still a brand magnet as he has been seen advertising for Gucci and Piaget a lot this year. He also appeared on Elle magazine's May 2023 issue. He is also part of the latest season of Five Hectares Variety Show. In July he kicked off his China tour that had been shelved due to the pandemic. The fact that the venues were packed to the brim with fans says a lot about his staying power. Considering everything, Lu Han remains a highly popular streamer with a devoted fan base. He holds the potential to reclaim his former glory whenever he chooses, given the abundance of job offers, film and television opportunities, and his enduring fan support. Even if he decides not to work actively, his earlier successes, annual endorsements, and appearances on variety shows ensure a steady income. During his debut years, Lu Han worked tirelessly to the point of exhaustion. Now, he prioritizes enjoying life, pursuing his passions like playing sports with friends, watching games, and spending time with his girlfriend. Who are we to begrudge him this ideal life? Do you think it was wise for Lu Han to choose love over his career?